everybody, so in video number 479 million, we did a battery. Of course, I'm joking. Somebody did a parody of me, and I thought that was hilarious, because that's what they did. In video 1793, we made a battery that I thought was the simplest battery ever, a zinc iodide battery, and I said, here's some zinc iodide, we made it earlier. And I thought I would just go through that a bit more, because it's stunningly easy. All you need is three things, some water, some zinc and some iodine. Now it makes a lot more sense if you make the zinc a zinc powder because if it's a zinc powder and here's some right here it's really easy to use and the reaction is quick and you will notice the keen among you I'm not bothering to measure anything and that's because you don't need to measure anything and so we put some zinc powder in some water and we've got some iodine here now iodine of course is a halogen so you don't want to go stuffing those prills up your nose and it will stain your skin because it's iodine but we get some zinc we get some iodine we add them some to some water and give them a stir now the reaction to begin with is slow but don't let that fool you because the reaction will start slow but as it builds up iodine ions then it will get much quicker this will go purple and start to froth and then it will go clear gradually you should be able to hear the reaction going right there and see the bubbles on the top if you add too much it will boil over you can see that reaction gets violent enough to boil the water in there so you do need to add it a bit at a time now when the reaction is completed it will go from that purple colour to a clear colour and you'll have an excess of zinc in there and you just let that separate out. There you go, that's it. That is zinc iodide. Now, it really is that easy to make and of course when you make it like that you don't have much control over it but that'll work fine in a battery. If you want to know exactly how much is there then you're going to have to stick to the stoichiometric amounts and the stoichiometric amounts just means the weight of it. Cardide has a mass of 319 grams per mole. Zinc has a mass of 65 grams per mole. Iodine has a mass of 127 grams per mole. So if I put in 65 grams of zinc and 254 grams of iodine, then I'll get one mole of zinc iodide because zinc iodide is ZNI2. If I put that into 100 millilitres, then if I put 25.4 grams of iodine and 6.5 grams of zinc, I'll get a one molar solution, and so on. So, by weighing the zinc and weighing the iodine before adding it to the water, we can control the concentration and know what concentration that is. What you do is add a little bit of excess zinc when you add the iodine so that you get a nice clear solution like this and a bit of zinc on the bottom and you know all the iodine has reacted. But as you just saw, you don't need to do that. You can actually just chuck some in and you will get a result and that result will perform as a battery. If you want to know exactly, then you have to use the stoichiometric amounts. Now, we pointed out that this battery self-discharges. Of course, we could use that age-old trick of just lifting out the zinc. If you lift out the zinc, the battery will basically last on the shelf forever until you put the zinc back in again. And that was a standard way of dealing with um, dichromate batteries, for example. So you can solve the self-discharge problem just by removing the zinc. Now you can make this basically as big as you like. You could, you could get yourself a water bucket and fill it with this stuff and stick in your two electrodes it'll work and it'll last for as long as that water bucket has zinc and iodine in it if you want more amps out remember you're going to have to use a greater surface area on the electrodes that you put in there but if you just want the energy and don't worry too much about how many amps are going to come out of there then a water bucket with a couple of rods. Zinc, of course, is a piece of cake to get hold of, especially if you live by the coast, because it's what you put on boat anodes as a sacrificial anode. So, tons of it about. Iodine, it's a little more rare um, to find, but you find it in these prills and you have to order it. If you can't order iodine, well, you can't make a zinc iodine battery. <laughs> But they're easy to get a hold of. Anyway, I thought I would go through that so that you knew exactly 
how to do everything to make this battery. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.